So today we'll look at some uh, some utilities. Um, we have various different um, various different utilities written in the business layer, and they are used for all manner of things, from the um, written into the source code um, to actually develop the core product, but also to help us with scripts. And um, if you look through some of our standard summary blocks and summary pages, you will see many instances of uh, of these utility functions being used. We also have developed a page set, which will eventually become a widget um, that we will provide to you all by way of a downloadable link in the YouTube video, um, which actually goes uh, some way to showing off some of the utility functions that we'll be um, we'll be looking at today. So I'll run through the page set briefly with you as well. As I say, eventually that will become a uh, will become a widget, and I'm sure we'll re reissue it to you all at some stage. But um, for the meantime, it remains a page set. So the way that we access our uh, our runtime utilities via a script by accessing the business layer and simply our runtime library here, IS runtime. An IS runtime contains a um, a collection of different utilities that we have broken off into um, into separate um, into their own separate areas. So you can see here straight off the bat that we have things like color utilities and compression utilities for zipping and unzipping files and working with um, working with um, various different system colors and HTML colors and things. If we skip past all of our uh, all of our create instances of uh, various objects, we come to uh, our date utilities. And as I say, these uh, these utilities you'll find um, used throughout the system. Um, typically, uh, most typically, summary pages and things you'll see them. But like I say, these these do kind of underpin a lot of the code that goes uh, that sits behind FinPower Connect, the application itself, uh, and really really useful for things like scripting. And it, some of these things are things that you might have might only ever need to do once or twice. Um, but just to know that these things are available and that you don't have to write your own functions to um, to perform some of these uh, perform some of these things is really really useful. So if we look at update utilities, you can see here we have things like um, displaying age as text and age in years. But more uh, I guess more useful or, or more. Uh, more applicable in the current state, uh, things like our casting, um, things like uh, casting to nullable dates, casting to nullable UTC dates, particularly now that we're working with um, with JSON dates for things like widgets and portals and web services. Um, obviously, uh, JSON date, working with dates in JSON uh, and JavaScript can be uh, reasonably painful. Um, so we do have some one line functions available to be able to cast, um, cast various different date uh, formats into um, into .NET into .NET dates. As well as that, we also have some um, date conversion functions as well. So convert to date. You can see here we can pass in things like a string representation of a date with a specific day, month, year order, and that will then convert that string into uh, into a, into the correct date type. Lots and lots and lots of uh, of useful conversion and casting utilities there um, used commonly, as I say, particularly with widgets and um, uh, portals and web services. Very, very handy. And obviously for working with things like reports and things as well, if you're receiving dates from a third party and they're in some sort of string format, then having uh, having a one liner to convert those to a, to a date that you can actually use is obviously very, very useful. As well as those, we also have um, some more um, out of the ordinary, um, out of the ordinary functions. Things like uh, a function to return Easter Sunday in the uh, in a specified for a specified year uh, to return the number of the days in the month. Uh, things like end of next month, end of previous month, first day of week in month. All these things that can be very very useful for things like reporting. As I say, they're very very simple to use. They are simple one line one line function calls. So it saves you having to write a lot of your own code. We also have things like um, the ability to uh, to to get the um, number of months between two different dates and, and and various other bits and bobs in there as well. So I say highly recommend that um, as well as the pay set which we'll provide that you come in and have a have a bit of a play around with some of these things. Like I say, they might not be useful to you every single script you write, but certainly at some point they um, they may they will come in useful and um, and will save you a bit of bit of work having to. Uh, 
having to write those functions yourself. For the state utilities, and um, I'm only going to run through some of the uh, some of the um, different utilities that we have. Um, obviously, there are many, many more, um, but the more commonly used and more um, useful, I guess, on a day to day basis will be things like file utilities. Again, a lot of these things not particularly onerous or difficult to achieve via standard .NET code. However, um, as I say, the uh, these provide a simple one liner. Basically a wrapper around some of those functions, but also um, what you'll find is that some of these file based utilities will actually return things like an IS list and more business layer um, business layer objects as opposed to working with them um, with some of the .NET types. So again, very useful for, for scripting and you can see here things like copying files, creating folders, deleting files and folders um, and also getting file extensions. Again, these sorts of things come do come in useful every now and again, particularly obviously when working with the file system. One of the more commonly um, used um, applications for this would be things like reading a text file, um, simple one liner to provide that provides a you provide a file name to a text file or an XML file, um, and that'll return you the text by ref that, uh, by, in a string, obviously, that you can then use. Um, and then similarly, the ability to write a file, um, a write a text file or write a file from a from a byte array or from a base 64 encoded string. So again, things like this one here are particularly useful if you're working with web services and someone's sending across a base 64 encoded file, then it's a nice easy one. You can just take the, uh, you can just give it a file name, take in the, uh, the base 64 encoded value that you've been sent and uh, spit that back out into a file at the other end. So that's file utilities. I want to look at things like HTML utilities in here particularly the useful for things like URL encoding and URL decoding. So anyone that's working with, again, particularly with, um, with widgets, portals or external uh, websites, um, any parameters and things you're passing through to web services obviously need to be URL encoded so that it doesn't contain characters that the browser doesn't like. And again, we have simple one liners here to encode and decode those, um, decode those things. So again, HTML utilities, again, um, fairly commonly used. Number of utilities, um, a number of conversion utilities here, um, as well as some, um, some, some more obscure things like uh, displaying the amount, displaying an amount in words. Um, but more typically, we'd be using these for things like conver um, conversion of um, conversion of numbers and also uh, rounding. There's lots of different rounding fun rounding functions in here. So again, we would be uh, more commonly, I guess, using using things like those. Moving on swiftly, time zone utilities. Now, obviously, um, uh, probably back a good while ago. Now we introduced uh, introduced time zones into FinPower Connect, and our time zone utilities allow us to return dates from uh, things like the local your local PC date, local uh, UTC date, uh, and the current database date time, all specific to your time, uh, and will all respect your time zone settings. So rather than just using something like date.now, we would much rather you see you using from BR runtime dot time zone utilities, get current database date, um, or get current um, get current local uh, local date, uh, but there are also some some other conversion utilities that we can apply in there. And again, those are going to respect whatever time zone settings you've got set up in global settings. So again, any time you're going to be using a using a date, um, using a current, getting a current date or whatever, then um, time zone utilities very very useful and really what you want to be using. on we also have text utilities um, again things like base 64 encoding and decoding or base 64 url encoding and decoding for um, particularly useful for web services and um, and uh, web-based web-based scripting again nothing particularly onerous or difficult to achieve otherwise but um but a nice simple um, one line function to be able to call to um, to return those as well as some uh, some things to work with things like lists and csvs um, and uh, we also have um, some 
things like um, JSON indenting, XML indenting, returning numbers only from a text string. There's all sorts of um, all sorts of good stuff in uh, in the text utilities, and something that we'll run through when we have a look at our um, when we have a look at our page set in a, in a minute or two. The last one we'll look at uh, is that's a live. We'll have a look at um, validation. Validation really useful. We can check things like uh, NZBNs. Um, we can check things like email addresses and phone numbers and VINs for um, securities. Um, again, particularly useful when we're whenever we're working when we're working with um, with any of those credit inquiries or security inquiries. And um, very useful to have those, as well as being able to validate some other more simple um, data types in here as well. Validation very, very handy and again uh, to. Want to remember and then web utilities would probably be the last one that we'll have a look at and um, web utilities obviously um, particularly um, commonly used with, um, with web services and widgets and things. And we have some really nice simple um, serialization functions in here. The ability to be able to deserialize JSON string to an object. So you can define a class containing your um, containing the uh, the fields and methods from your from your um, JavaScript or the JSON string that's coming in, and a simple one liner then to be able to deserialize that JSON string to an object, and then obviously similarly to be able to serialize it back the other way. So we have serialized and deserialized functions for both JSON and XML, as well as some other things that um, that really are used um, that really I guess would be more useful in, uh, used more commonly internally. Um, but in terms of scripting, certainly the deserialize and serialize functions are really, really handy. And if you're doing anything in web services or, or widgets, are something you're going to need to use um, and very, uh, very commonly. OK, as I say, we uh, we some time ago, Scott um, and myself um, put together a, a page set um, to demonstrate some of these utility functions. You can see um, when we open up the page set here, down the bottom we have a number of tabs uh, relating to um, various different utility types that we have. Um, as I said before, we will be um, we will be um, making this available via a widget at some point in the future, and we will likely add some more things to it. Um, it is kept reasonably up to date. I know Scott added some things in fairly recently for things like the uh, get previous and past business days. And as you can see here, it uh, opens up onto our date utilities tab, so we can do things like check in the number of months difference between two between two um, two dates. Having off there, let's see, three months, twenty eight days. And again, if we put in a date of birth, so for instance, it'll work out the number of uh, it'll give you the age in in text as well as breaking that down into days, years, days and months. So again, these sort of functions not always going to be something that you're going to be using every day, uh, but they're very, very useful to know that they're there. And then, as I say, we have some business, uh, some calendar business day functions that Scott did, which is um, which is incredibly useful. Then as a for instance, so one, one, twenty two. See here, get previous business day returns the uh, returns the previous business day and then obviously past business days um, thereafter cycle through those and see all the past business days. You can see it's skipping things like weekends and whatever as well. So particularly useful to work out and and, and very handy for um, for things like reporting. Um, and other scripting functions as well. Moving on file utilities. We have the thing here for. Opening up and displaying a, a text file. So as you see, as we went through some of those functions earlier, the text utilities um, read text file. As well as. The ability to open uh, select and open other files from the same folder, so there's various different um, and you'll also note in here as well that we also have um, if we hover over the uh, over the relevant fields, then you'll see that the uh, we've actually put a tooltip text on uh, to display the relevant um, runtime utility function that would that's been called to return it. So get file base and then obviously get file extension. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So you can just hover to see which um, which of the utilities has been used 
where we don't already have a, a nice label for them as well. And again, things like amount in words, $3.57. Um, you'll see, as I say, some of these things um, will probably jump out at you when you're looking through some of the, uh, the some of the summary pages and things in the system. And then some of the rounding functions and things we have in here um, available as well. Moving on to text utilities, obviously we have Base 64, Base 64 encoding and decoding. See that working there, uh, as well as our things like our CSV append. And um, obviously, we we'll provide the page set, so you'll have all the code that sits behind these as well. But obviously, very very simple one-line function calls to um, to display these things like numbers only. And you'd be surprised at the number of times you might see, yeah, uh, you might find a need for this. Um, returning obviously just numbers from a from a string. We've had things in the past where people have sent through, particularly with things like conversions, where people pass through um, phone numbers with um, with various different characters, pluses and brackets and things involved. Um, and just being able to strip the numbers out of those can be yeah, can be quite useful sometimes. Um, and then things like um, proper case and things like as well. Converting any just a, a nice way of being able to clear up some um, clear up some some dodgy dodgy data. And so I say things like conversions, these sorts of things come in very very useful. Um, we also have um, XML indenting as well. We'll add the JSON indenting in there. Also, you can take just take a standard string of, uh, of XML or JSON and format that nicely. Um, you can see that when you look at things like user data in, um, in FinPower Connect, you'll see that nice indented um, uh, representation of the uh, of the uh, of the XML um, that's stored against um, that's stored against our key value list and that uses that function behind the scenes there as well. And then onto summary pages, we can have a look at something like key accounts uh, or a script that you may have developed yourself. And you can actually see the code alongside the uh, alongside the script in here as well. So that uses some of our summary page functions to display some of those as well. As I say, we will make the page set available. Some of you may have seen that already. As I say, it's been uh, it's been around for a wee while now. Uh, but uh, we'll be superseded with a widget version with uh, that will probably include some extras, um, some extras and new functionality um, as well.